boys and girls. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your literary terms and techniques so that you know what I expect of you over the next three weeks with this document. So if you're looking at page one, basically what you're doing is you are taking notes on all of the things that we have talked about in the past during our language arts class and some things that we're going to be talking about this week and in the weeks to come. So if you look at this first page, you can see that I've labeled all of the characters that I found in the first section of reading that we're doing today. You can see the pages listed and you can see I've sort of put what they are next to most of them. Um, with setting, I chose one page and I just picked setting and I made sure to include time and place. And then I did add protagonist, even though we haven't talked about that yet, just so you could kind of see what a protagonist is. So we will talk about plot, and you notice I even added a note down at the bottom that said idiom, only because I know we've talked about idioms, it's just not on the sheet. So, But I thought it was important to add. On the second page, you can see there's character traits. I've only listed one. I'm saving my character traits sections for later in the book when we really dive into the main characters, but I did want to show you what that looked like. We haven't talked about climax yet. That will be coming. There were some co conflicts listed in that first, specifically Bob with his owner, but I don't know that it's detailed enough that we should add it, and we definitely have more conflicts coming, so I thought we would wait until that. Uh, there's also been some foreshadowing that I haven't added yet. I'm waiting for a much more clearer foreshadow, and we have a lot of time for that. And we also have some irony coming up, so don't worry about that one. But again, these are all things that we've talked about with the possible exception of Climax. We did talk about Climax at the beginning of the year, but it's been a long time. So we'll dive into that again with a shorter video. Again, looking at page three, you'll see lots of different things that we've already talked about. Similes, you can see I've listed some. Metaphor, you can see I've listed some. Uh, I'll get to mood in a second. You can see I've listed a personification. I haven't done anything with point of view. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys to do that based on what you've read today. Read those over. First person, third person, third person omniscient, third person limited. And go ahead and circle one, whichever one you think that it is. Mood is, is one that kids have trouble with. Mood is, what's clear about mood is that it's how the reader feels, how the author makes the reader feel. It's almost like author's purpose. Like why, it, what is the author doing it for? Why is the author making you feel something? So it's sort of like that reaction, okay? And then on the last page, you have symbolism, which we have not talked about. And we are going to dive into that with a pretty long video probably next week. Imagery, you can see there. Uh, you can see, by the way, you can note that I've added... Uh, some really small print, so it, it's one of those things where, you know, I know I'm going to be adding a lot, but so I really blew that one up and, and so that I could write tiny. And then hyperbole, uh, again, those topics that we have talked about before. We're going to talk about theme again in another long video, so symbolism and theme are two things that I really want to hit before you guys move on to fifth grade. Now, what I'd really like to do here is talk to you about how these nodes work and what I expect of you every single day. Obviously, I don't expect you to label things that you don't understand. That's something that you ask me questions about. But what I do want you to do is every day you should set a goal of five different add-ons. And I'm not talking about characters. I'm talking about the other things. What can you add on every single day? And I'm only asking you to focus on five. Now, you obviously can do more. That's totally up to you. The goal is to learn all of these skills. You'll notice I miss things sometimes, and sometimes I miss them on purpose, and sometimes I just miss them. I don't write down every simile. I don't write down every metaphor. But I write down enough so that my teacher knows that I know what similes and metaphors are. So if I say what's on page 34, you're able to go down onto page 34 and find a couple of different lit terms. I might say, find a simile on page 42, and this will get you ready to do that. Or if you're lucky, you might even have the simile from page 42. What you shouldn't do is become bogged down with this paper. 
okay? Don't spend every waking second writing notes down. You still need to enjoy the book, and you still need to be looking for other things like Crop QVS, and ultimately the summary, which we're going to start working on probably sometime next week, only because we don't really kick into full gear plot until then. So that's really it. Anything that you don't understand on this paper, I will be making a video about. You can count on that. And anytime you still have questions, you're welcome to ask me. If you run out of space, well, first and foremost, you should make sure that everything you're doing on this paper is as neat as possible. I don't have the neatest handwriting, but you can see it's pretty easy for me to read, especially if I blow it up. What you want to do is make sure you blow it up, make sure you number everything, put it in order. And if you struggle, don't be afraid to use the text, okay? The text feature on Explain Everything works really nice. If you run out of space, you can always just upload another lit terms to this and just keep adding on there. Or you can just add like notebook paper on the end and you can just pull a graphic off or I can add a graphic for you if you'd like. So that's really it. If you have any questions, you can come to office hours today at 2 o'clock or any day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 2, and ask me. Or you can ask me during our lit terms meeting or really any of the other meetings if you want to. So that's our literary terms and techniques note page where you are literally just taking notes so that you can be ready for any sort of games or quizzes or tests that we may have between now and the end of the school year. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know on Class Dojo or let me know via email or let me know in office hours or let me know by smoke signal. I like those too. All right, have a good day, kids. Thank you.